Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and I figured today I want to do a new dance move. I want to do the mashed potato. No, but seriously, I, I want to eat mashed potatoes. And I love my mashed potatoes super creamy, like to the point where they're like not too thick because I feel like they become like, I don't know, like clay otherwise, but not too runny either. I like them just in the middle where it's perfect and you can put some gravy over it and it just becomes this nirvana of potatoes. It's going to be the most amazing creamy garlic mashed potatoes ever and I have a secret ingredient at the end, but you have to watch and see. So get on those dancing shoes and go back a few decades because the mashed potato is in full effect. So I'm going to start by adding about five pounds of baby white and baby red potatoes to the Instant Pot. And then I'm going to add about three cups of chicken broth. You could use garlic broth too if you'd like. And you do that by adding three teaspoons of garlic better than bouillon base mixed with three cups of water. And if you want a thicker potato, just add two cups of broth instead of three, okay? And then I'm going to toss in three whole cloves of garlic. Now I'm going to secure my lid, make sure that I'm in sealing position. So let's come down to the control panel and hit the pressure cook or the manual button depending on your model. We want to go on this guys for only 15 minutes at high pressure. That's it, just 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's take some fresh chives and then slice them up into pieces about this big. It's time to do a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so let's take the lid off. And there's our potatoes. Now let's grab a potato masher and just begin to mash them up inside the pot. Now it may look very soupy right now with all the broth in there, but believe me when I tell you it's all going to absorb up by the potatoes once we mash them up. So make sure you get a good potato masher and mash everything together. Alright, and now that I'm all mashed up, I'm going to now just start to mix everything together with a few ingredients. And that's going to be a stick of salted butter, that's also 8 tablespoons. And then just stir that in with the potatoes, it's going to melt very quickly because everything in here is very hot. And just stir this for about a minute until it's totally melded. I also want to add two 5.2 ounce packages of Borson. If you don't have this, you can use cream cheese instead, and you can use any flavor you want. Believe me, this is going to make it insane. And let's stir that in until that gets nice and melded. It's also going to thicken the potatoes up a little bit as well. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of garlic salt, a half a tablespoon of black pepper, and my chives. Let's stir that in. And there we have it guys, the most amazing creamy mashed potatoes ever. They are so rich and creamy. You don't even have heavy cream in them actually, but because of the borsin, we don't even need heavy cream in here. So, we're now ready to serve this amazingness up. All right, and let's put some into a serving dish. Looking amazing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Creamy, fluffy potatoes. Because that's exactly how I like my mashed potatoes. I don't like them too thick. I like them really just in the middle. Not runny, but I like them to be nice and creamy, like a cream-based potato. Almost like a creamed potato. And of course, if you wanted to add some bacon to this, you could add bacon. Do whatever you want. This guy is the limit. All right, let's serve this up. And look at this, guys. Look at how creamy this is. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. This right here is the stuff. I, I mean, who doesn't love mashed potatoes? It's so healthy for you, right? No, but seriously, it's amazing. This is so good. And I might just have to turn this camera off immediately because I might eat this entire bowl. I love how the skins of the potatoes are still on there. It makes it look all fancy and stuff. Mmm, delicious. It's so good. And I love how fluffy and creamy it is. Like I said, it's like a creamed potato. This is going to easily feed like six to eight people, guys. Easily. So if you want to cut it in half, cut it in half. Just make sure you also have the liquid. And if you want a thicker mashed potato, just add two cups of broth in the beginning as opposed to three. That's what's going to do it. But guys, I like it exactly like this. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, go to PressureLuckCooking.com because I have a ton of recipes there. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLuckCooking and like that page because anytime a new recipe comes out, you're going to be notified about it and any other great stuff along the way. Also, add PressureLuck to subscribe to me on YouTube. All my videos are there as well as Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Thank you so much again, guys, and it's time to whip it. Whip it real good.